Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be doing the Q&A finally. We got quite a few questions. Um, I'm going to actually go back to my older Q&A and catch up with some questions that Hunter Blue Jim had asked, and I haven't done a Q&A in like six months, apparently. So his questions have been sitting there for a long ass time. That's my fault because I did say I was going to do a Q&A like once every month. I'm going to change it to like once every two or three months because that would actually get pretty repetitive after a while. But yeah, let's get into it. So his first question is, if you could get a play button, would you rather have a silver, gold, or a diamond, or as lucky as PewDiePie, a ruby? Um, personally, at the moment, I'm working towards silver, which is like 100k. Um, that's kind of my main goal, to be honest, of doing YouTube is getting to a hundred K. Yeah, that'll happen someday. <laughs> it's kind of my dream. I even have it written on my uh, Twitter profile too that my dream is to reach a hundred K, and I'll be satisfied with just that, dude. <laughs> Made my goal, and then I'll probably aim higher. Probably not because I'll just be satisfied with that amount of people so I wouldn't be really worried about it but his next question is what is your favorite day of the week Sunday through Saturday hmm favorite day of the week hmm would probably be I wouldn't even have a favorite anymore because I'm busy on all those days but back then it would always be Friday well no it would always be Saturday actually because I didn't have to get up and go to school. <laughs> I could just lay there and sleep all day, catch up on all that rest I missed through the whole Monday through Friday. <laughs> so yeah, Saturday. <laughs> all right. What made you become a game tuber? Mm, quite a few things. I mostly like playing a whole bunch of games and I always thought about it being like a good reaction for people. Because I always wanted to see people's opinion of me playing games versus like everybody else playing games. Because people like, um, uh, yeah, I guess I could name a few of the YouTubers that got me into this. Uh, John Wolf, who is a horror YouTuber, that's why I started playing a few horror games or wanted to start my own horror gaming channel. And then there was a uh, Craven 2 on that list. And then there were people like, um, damn. It's like, it's like some real old YouTubers now that I think about it, like real OGs that have been around for like a while. I cannot remember them by like Hardy anymore because it's been such a long time since I've actually watched them. But yeah, there was just a whole bunch of YouTubers who actually got me interested. I guess you could say PewDiePie was one of them. But not like the main one, but yeah. There were so many like uh, different YouTubers doing it, so that I was just like, why not? And it seemed like a fun thing. And if you can turn that into a career, you're pretty much set on doing something you love, to be honest. When is my birthday? It's basically August 19th. I am a Leo, for sure. And that's all the questions he asked. All right, guys, let's get to the new questions. All right, so Zan asks, if you're being sent to an island by yourself, that was capable of having electricity for a TV and able to use data on your device. Then you were told you're only allowed to download one mobile game. Pick one single player, one and one multiplayer each for console PC. Which would you take and why? Damn, that's actually quite a difficult question now that I think about it. Hmm. Which one would I take? Because I don't have a, a main game yet that I actually full on enjoy. Uh, for console, no, hmm, for console, what could keep me occupied for that long? Because I don't even play console games anymore. God damn it. I guess on console, I would take Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, I'll probably take Dragon's Dogma on console. And I would probably take for PC. Hmm. Ah, 
Fuck it. I'll either take Warframe or Slate Aspire. Probably Slate Aspire since it has a Steam community now, so that can keep me occupied for hours. Or probably like a whole year at least. <laughs> Next question is made by Bellathon. How tall are you? I I have no idea. I have not measured how tall I am in like years to be honest. Probably like five or six something. Probably more line around the six. Let's just say pretty damn tall. <laughs> It is, the next question is, what's your favorite thing to read? What is reading? I've never heard of this word. At all. But no, my, my favorite thing to read would probably be um, video game stories. Because some games can come up with some pretty damn good stories. For sure. Most people don't read them. I do. So, yeah, the, if I was to say I was going to read something like more along the line of a book, it would probably be a manga, just because most of them are way better than actual books. I don't like to use my imagination too much anymore. <laughs> Favorite food. There's so many foods in the world that I can't even really decide that, to be honest. Holy shit. Um, let's say, no, oh, actually, favorite one would probably be ribs, barbecue ribs. Mm. And will you sign this contract saying that I own yourself? No, God damn it. Stop. Every time with you, you always try to steal my soul. No. <laughs> All right. Dark Razov as... What's your favorite game of all time? And why is it the VR chat? Um, because I can be my waifu and I can see other waifus. And because it's hilarious, to be honest. <laughs> VR chat is like the most funniest thing ever if you can get a group of friends along with some random people. And creating the models is the best part because you can do like pretty much anything. Well, not anything because you can get uh, banned from it. So yeah, there's some minor like setbacks for like adult stuff. So yeah. <laughs> All right, final person who's asked questions. Derek Sim, if you had to choose a permanent primary weapon and live in an RPG, what class would you pick? Hmm. It would probably be gauntlets, just because I would probably want to be a, a brawler. Like gauntlets in, I guess, steel boots. I guess, what would you call that set? Battle gloves, basically. Without the freaking claws. I hate the freaking claws. Let's just go with gauntlets. I hate claw weapons. I, I really do. I despise them. And also, are you going to be giving Langresser a try when it comes out. I mean, it comes out today, which I didn't expect this to answer this question on today, but sure. I personally am not a huge fan of uh, Fire Emblem just because I was a huge fan of Nintendo because of the whole YouTube partnership crap, copyright claims and shit like that. So it was pretty much me not really enjoying the company as I used to. So, yeah, and plus they also had a little other stupid things going on, so. Yeah, I didn't really grow up with Fire Emblem. The only game I played that was close to Fire Emblem was Fire Emblem Hero, and that's pretty much it. Nothing more than that. So, yeah, that has been the Q&A. That was actually pretty fun. I actually got a lot of questions in. That's how I like it. So yeah, I planned on stopping it like a week because uh, I knew I probably wasn't gonna get any more questions because most of the time, once my videos like pass, like once I started uploading like at least four videos then my videos get buried and people will find and stumble onto them later. But yeah, but yeah, I will also be making 
a Dragon Blaze guide for you guys when it comes to farming since so many people have asked for this. So, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A. Make sure to catch the next Q&A and answer all your questions. I guess you guys can put your new questions in this video. And I'll get back to them within like probably eight months. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it to the peace out. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose.